Sir, I take this opportunity to argue for the rights of my nation and for my state. Sir, firstly, I would like to start with NEET. Sir, considering the fact that the NEET-based selection process is against the students from poor and underprivileged backgrounds, Tamil Nadu has always opted for the MBBS selection process through plus two marks, that is 12 standard board exams marks, rather than through a separate selection entrance examinations. Such NEET-based selection also imposes immense psychological stress on the MBBS aspirants and financial burden on their families. To do away from the NEET menace, the Tamil Nadu Admission to Undergraduate Medical Degree Courses Bill 2021 was passed by the Tamil Nadu Assembly Legislative on 39-2021 at the behest of our Honorable Chief Minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin. And it was forwarded by the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu to the Union Ministry of Home Affairs and is pending for assent, sir, for nearly three years. Sir, this has caused immense anxiety and stress in the minds of our students and parents. Recently, the nation has witnessed large-scale confusions starting with question paper leaks and irregular handling of awarding grace for wrong key answers and compensatory marks. Almost 23.33 lakhs candidates are today affected by the 2024 UG NEET exam. This has also led to filing of many cases in the Honorable Supreme Court of India and ordering of CBI inquiry by the Union Government. Sir, the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly has recently moved a resolution seeking exemption for uh, Tamil Nadu from NEET examination or to scrap completely the NEET for admissions to medical courses. Sir, therefore, we seek the Honorable Prime Minister immediate attention in this regard either to approve the bill passed by the state government in this matter or to bring out such amendments to the National Medical Commission Act so that the NEET and NEXT exam system is given up at the national level. Sir, rather than being a test of merit, NEET has become a world of scams and corruptions as exam papers can be purchased from residents just a phone call away and even through Dunzo and Amazon and results can be easily tampered with. You can even have a ghost writer in few centers to get full marks of 720 out of 720. Sir, when NEET was introduced in 2010 through regulations, Dr. Kalanyar Karunanidhi, the then Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, asked me to file a writ petition and to get a stay. Sir, I appeared before the Madras High Court and I got a stay of implementation of the NEET regulations. Always Tamil Nadu raises its voice first whenever it sees injustice or inequity. Sir, our Youth Wing Secretary and Honorable Sports Minister, Mr. Udayanidhi Stalin, undertook a campaign against NEET and as many as 80 lakh persons signed seeking to ban NEET. Sir, there has been an extraordinary delay of 48 days in ordering CBI investigation in NEET scam. And this delay has helped the fraudsters to tamper with the documents and erase the evidence. Another interesting factor is the parliament passed the public examination prevention of unfair means bill 2024 on 9 to 2024. The president gave a assent on 12 to 2024. However, sir, it is shocking to note that the act was notified only on 21 6, 2024 after the scam of paper leak of NEET and NET has happened. The object of Public Examination Act 2024 is to bring stringent provisions to curb the malpractices as there were no substantive law to deal with unfair means or offenses committed such as paper leakage. Both state and central government have powers to order investigation. My question is why this act was notified belatedly in June 2024 when the act was passed and assent given on 12 to 2024. Now, NTA officials will now clearly escape from the clutches of this Public Examination Act. Interestingly, National Testing Agency, which is responsible for conducting more than 14 critical competitive exams, including NEET, is registered under the Society's Registration Act like any other flat owners' housing societies. Crores of funds are given to this unaccountable body. From 2014 to 2024, the government passed as many as 427 bills in Lok Sabha, 365 bills in Rajya Sabha. However, union government was not interested in introducing legislation to provide statutory backing for NTA. 
This lack of legislation may allow NTA to avoid accountability and face no consequences for corruption or illegal activities. There is no answer why such important exams were given to an incompetent body and made unaccountable for this. Sir, I'll go to the state issues. Sir, the first one is the CMRL project. Sir, phase two of the Chennai Metro has been proposed at a cost of 63,246 crores and covering 119 kilometers at 50 is to 50 joint venture between Union of India and Government of Tamil Nadu. Also, phase two project's foundation store was laid by the Honorable Union Minister for Home on 21-11-2020 and the announcement for counterpart funding was made in the Union Budget for 21-22. There has been no progress at all. Though the project was recommended by the Public Investment Board on 17-8-2021, it is still awaiting the approval of the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Many other city metro proposals which were subsequently recommended by the Public Investment Board have since been approved by the Union Government. Considering the pressing needs of the Chennai metropolitan area, the government of Tamil Nadu has commenced the works for phase two in anticipation uh, of the approval by the union government and uh, in uh, expenditure is being currently met from the state funds. While such funding of project expenditure has ensured that the works are on track, the state's fiscal situation has been adversely impacted by it. This situation needs to be set right without any further delay. We urge the Honorable Prime Minister to give cabinet clearance and allocate 50% of the cost, that is 31,623 crores. Sir, number two is NDRF claims. Tamil Nadu faced two unprecedented national disaster in the month of December 2023. Cyclonic storm, Mishing brought extremely heavy rainfall, and also the southern districts of uh, Tamil Nadu, like uh, Tutukodi, Tirunelveli, Tenkasi, and Kanyakumari district, received unprecedented extremely heavy rainfall in December 2023. As a result, the infrastructure, both public and private, and livelihoods of the people has been devastated. After the IMCT officials uh, uh, came and assessed the damages, the state government made a claim of 37,907.21 crores. However, the union government has sanctioned only a meager compensation of Rs. 276 crores from the NDRF on 26-4-2024. Given the magnitude of the natural disaster and the colossal damage caused to the infrastructure and livelihoods, this compensation is grossly inadequate and is a grave injustice to the state of Tamil Nadu. Hence, Honorable Prime Minister has requested at least 3,000 crores may be immediately sanctioned under the NDRF to take up the restoration relief and works to defray the expenditure. Sir, please sir I will uh, take it from the please other conclude. members, sir, as an important. No, no, sir. We agree, we agree on that. There are 46 speakers, sir. 46 speakers. Yes, there's, there's, there's an Unless important... Unless I get in writing, sir, I can. Sir, we permit. need a... Please. Yes. Please sir, conclude. we need a caste-based census, sir. We need a caste-based census. Sir, there is no contemporary data available, sir, after 1931. So we need a caste-based census, sir. Sir, Thank several you. new uh, railway projects in Tamil Nadu requires a sanction on high priority. Sir, Tamram to Chengalpattu, Tirupattur, Krishnagiri, Hosur, New Line, Thank Madurai, Tutukodi, Arhu Kote, then Sir Meenjur. Sir, Mani, Mani sir, within, within, sir, within, 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 sir, within, 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 Mr. Sandeep Kumar Pat, please, please speak. Aapki baat no, sir. It's a time constraint. I cannot give you time. Please. Aapki baat record pe jari. Please. Please speak. Please speak. Not going on record. 